whenever you get down there, obviously the light goes green, you're gonna go beat that dude's ass. Beat his ass. He said it. We're gonna win. He's gonna win. What is up guys? We are starting out the day here at Michael's shop. It's about 10 o'clock Texas time. Uh, the gates open for the track at 2. Um, and we can start doing test runs at 3 at I think drivers meetings at 445. Qualifications start at 5 and then eliminations to follow that. It's a roll race event. 30 mile an hour start. Uh, left lane has the lead and uh, your class is based off your mile an hour. He said uh, classes will be split about 10 mile an hour a piece. The bottom three classes are $500 pod and the top class I believe is like a thousand or something like that or maybe 750. Um, yeah, so Michael's getting the Evo ready. We just blood the clutch, uh, new idle air sensor. He did gear oil last night, a couple things. I did rig out my plugs. Uh, I thought I had like a vacuum leak because I just put in these four bar sensors, but it turned out to just be the sensors themselves. They just need calibrated a uh, little little fine tuning. Uh, and on that note, shout out to Frank Mabo and Mabo Tech, my tuner, the man. He's been dealing with my shenanigans uh, for the past couple of days. If you guys didn't see the video of where my intake manifold decided to take a shit on me, um, I'll link that at the end of the video, but I have a different intake manifold now from a buddy. Um, he didn't want me to run a, like, poke a hole in it so I could run my boost tap so I don't have my gauge for boost so I'll be hooking up my computer a lot today to, to read boost but anyway last night the last tune that Frank sent me is now my, my tune is good because the, the idle kept creeping up a lot that's why I thought like I had a vacuum leak or something but it turned out to just be the sensor so now we're going to go out and do some more logs he told me to set it at 20 psi uh, and have it set at 93 octane, which is really isn't octane, it's for timing, but anyway. So I'm gonna go run to the gas station, warm the car up, go do, do some logs, send it to him. Like I said, we got like four hours or so until we're heading to the track, so hopefully we can get like maybe two, three revisions in. Um, this dude is the shit. I mean, Frank, there's been days where I will go out, do a log, get home to get on the Wi-Fi, send him the log via email, and then text him in WhatsApp and be like, hey, I sent you a log, and before I even like get out of the car to like check my oil because I'm obsessed with checking my oil level. Um, I got another log. This dude is like on it. Now, it's not always like that, but like in the best of circumstances, like it'll be 10, 15 minutes and I'll get a revision. It's it's pretty pretty cool. Like Frank's the man, and yeah, just that's all I got. But I'm not gonna record too much I'm by myself, so I can't like data log and and do this at the same time. But I'll give you guys updates until we get to the track. And then I'll have somebody there at some point. I got the GoPro here, so I'll be doing in-car footage of racing. And then hopefully I can get somebody to use this camera and record our runs. We'll go back and forth. I'll be recording uh, Michael. I got my buddy uh, Nick, uh, Jeff, all types of people coming up from Lubbock for this event. So a lot of a lot of fast cars, a lot of fast cars. It's going to be like 90% muscle. I've seen that there's GTR going. I've seen there's like a Mark IV Jetta going couple other random things but for the most part it's where it's, it's gonna be like me him and maybe two other people that are four cylinders at a at an event with all v8s that are most of them are on boost or nitrous so we'll see how this day goes <laughs> all right guys we're here at the track we got all these cars lined up this shop right here is where I got my dyno done at Michael you got Michael here, his Evo, and he's got his, he brought the Honda over too. You got Abe in the truck, and then me here, our little group of folks. Uh, the DA has already cracked 7,000, it's like 7,200 now, 90, what, three degrees, and it's supposed to get hotter. It's, what, three o'clock in the afternoon, so around five is the hottest point of the day, and that's when eliminations start, I believe. Um, right now it's test runs for like the next hour and a half, and then we got driver's meeting. So I'm about to go out. Hopefully I can trap over 120. My best quarter mile run here with like an 8,000 DA was like 12, 36 at 112. I mean, this is a 30 roll, so we'll see. Car's running great, thanks to Frank. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I have Tony here, he's not 
racing today, but he'll be recording us while we're out there and I have the GoPro in the car to get in-car footage. I have a bunch of friends here from all over Texas and New Mexico. There's plenty of 900 horsepower cars here or more. It's crazy. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff going on today, so just stay tuned and enjoy. This is my buddy Michael Harper's car. Look at that. That is crazy. Not something you see every day in Amarillo, Texas. I did was 117 hopefully this one's a little higher I need to not be a, a bitch on the brake pedal for brake boost but it's good you can see I don't know if you can't see it's 100 degrees right now my air intakes are intake temp is 130 it's ridiculous all right I don't know how well the GoPro or this other video came out first run I did 117 second run I tried to brake boost in second gear I failed miserably I did 115. This was first gear, no brake boost. It's like 5,000 RPM in first gear, and it's like 3,000 RPM in second gear. Uh, it's, and it's air intake temps are almost 140, and the outside temp is over 100 right now. So uh, that's what that is. I'm gonna hop in Michael's car and uh, get a test run with him. I'm excited. This car is ridiculous. <laughs> So we set the pace at 30 miles an hour. Race car driver. He's uh looking for the ladies. I am got single. A, he's got a nice car. I mean, it has AC, yeah. and I hear it's faster than that thing. So hit him up. I give the seal of approval. <laughs> Set the pace. Right. So yeah. when you're over here, it's your job to just get it to 30 and hold it. And whenever you're over there, it's your job to just uh, stay with this dude in the left lane. Uh, so whenever you get down there, obviously the light goes green, you're gonna go beat that dude's ass. Beat his ass. He said it. We're gonna win. He's gonna win. What is it? Oh, we got a Camaro. Camaro. Here we go. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. Racing the 1320 Camaro. Bye, guy. Go look at all the friends, the spectators. Game time. got some in-car footage thank you Michael uh, he's making me laugh a lot saying all that shit. you couldn't see my face obviously but 
That was good. My, my runs were getting slower because of heat soak, obviously. I just showed you the first two runs, 117, 115, and I did 112 and 111. But my, my trap speed times are getting better. My best from a 30 roll was 10.5, and uh, my best in the first one was like 11.1. So it, it's doing good. It's doing very, very good. Uh, it just kind of sucks. You got to stay within 3% of your speed, and then they, you know, I, I got to let the car cool off to eliminations. We'll see. Or, uh, qualifications so my trap speed during qualifications will be it has to, I have to stay within 3% of that or I break out so uh, hopefully the car cools off and shit that's still like an hour and some change away okay, throw some ice on it there's some crazy cars here this shit is wild there's a Tesla that just went through tech too so that'll be really really cool to see but uh Holy crap. Oh, and there's a, a guy here with the Mark IV Jetta GLI KO4 on Eurodyne. Uh, he's trapping like low 100s, but dude's cool as fuck. And the car's real nice. I have to get some, some footage of that as well. Or the only two Euro cars here racing, I believe. I did see a Bentley roll up though. Oh, there's the Jetta as we speak. I love that gray. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. So Michael wound up going to get his Civic. He's down there. We're about to start our qualifying runs. The homie Jason's driving the Civic, so I'm gonna be recording him, recording Michael, recording Abe, recording him. He's got GTI as well. We got a bunch of cars, a bunch of friends. And the way the classes are, it's 105 to 114, and then 115 to 125. And my best run was literally right in the middle. I got that 117. And my worst run for, uh, like after being heat soaked, the fourth one I did was 111. So what I think I'm gonna do is just turn the boost down by one, See that, how that is in qualifying. If I don't like it, I'll turn it down one more just to try and stay at the top of that other class. Um, and you're allowed a five mile an hour over your qualifi qualifying uh, been able to time or speed. So we'll have to see how this all plays out. Do some quick maths on the, on the track. I probably won't record the qualifying stuff. Um, this video is probably already long as shit. It's going to be super long. But super long. Damn, but Harper, what did he trap? 150 something? 156. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna call him out first watch. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just see what happens. Hey! That's crazy! Yee yee! Remember, this is qualifying. This isn't this isn't the actual race. And they're both the homies, so. That's cool. on the left 95 on the right all right so did my qualifying run I missed third gear but popped the right back in real fast I did 109 um, the way the classes work I thought it was like this 3% thing they changed a lot of things that they said they were doing online um, they weren't supposed to tell us the mile an hour classes until after we qualified and they did and they weren't supposed to tell us the breakout speed until after qualifying and they did but uh so I trapped 109, you can't trap more than five mile an hour higher than your best qualifying run. Uh, the top of my class, I can't go faster than 114.9 for my class, and that's pretty much five mile an hour over 109. So I'm in the golden for now, as long as I don't go over that 115 or 114.9. So I did. I took a PSI out at 27 to 28. I'm hoping without heat soak that that'll net like right at like 114. It's like three seconds off one pound last shoot one pound of boost for me according to my dyno runs was like like 15 horsepower ish i'm gonna take out 15 horsepower um maybe that'll net two seconds uh, maybe not maybe i'll drop it down to 26 i don't know i'm gonna do some ricer math record some friends um so i have two more classes to do qualifying runs and then elimination starts so we got a while it's hot very hot i've drank so much water today it's ridiculous, but we're having a good time. A very good time. There's gonna be a lot of, a lot of stuff going on today. So, eat.
into the sunset. He's growing up so fast. <laughs> All right, so he drove off into the sunlight, and I don't even know where he's at. So uh, we'll find him. If not, we'll just look at all the cars. Then we'll try to find him a single woman. Where they at? Like, she might not be single, but hey. All right, here we go. Couple of V8s. Here we go, here we go. Rice is great. Oh, missing them gears, huh? I can't keep up, they're so fast. I'm shaking like a motherfucker. 109 to 107, I don't know who cron finished first. Looks like the Camaro came back and caught him. But here we go. The man of the hour. With all the power. Like I'm saying, this dude's single. And uh, he's ready to mingle. Look at this, he could be bright passenger with this guy. My fucking friend! Woo! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Come on Bryce, bring it home. Sorry, I'm shaking, but it's my man. All right, Bryce took the win. Camaro went 110. My boy, he went 108. Cause he's a fucking maniac. Maniac. Hey, look at these guys. Shh. Pair of fucking racers right here. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him. Yeah, I forgot to turn the GoPro on when I was in there screaming like a little girl. Look at him. See? I'm telling you. Like, how can you not want to date this guy? Come on. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Yo. Yo, hook it up. His number is, well, I don't really know the number off the top of my head, but I'll get it to you. I'll put it in the comments once he makes this video. But hell yeah. Good job, both of you guys. You almost had him, though, at the end. You almost had him. So, we out. Now our boy here in the Honda. Who's who here, but oh. wow, it's a freaking Tesla. broke out. Damn, there we go. This Mustang has a massive single turbo. Beautiful orange. There's wow, that is crazy. My boy Jeff in the left lane. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, woo! Go, Jeff.
I bet he broke out. I don't know why they're not showing speeds. There we go. Wow. Gordon? Yep. Alright, round two. Uh, there's a red C5 Corvette right over there. That's what I'm racing. It doesn't look like it's boosted. It's over there somewhere. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's boosted, but I think it may or may not be on nitrous. But we'll see. That last race, I had let off quite a bit at the end so we'll see how it goes but i'm just gonna leave it at 27 pounds let it rip let it rip potato chip that's what he says he's gonna win root for my mans here come for you next i'm gonna run my ass over Which one's gonna which one's gonna win? Got the win? Uh, no, wait. Actually, the left lane got the win. My bad. It went at 112. My bad. I suck. Here comes here. We comes here. We go. Game time. Come on. Don't let me down, Bryce. Let me down. Got the win, my man. Oh yeah, made it to the next round. Mm, I'm telling you, this dude's gonna win it. Yeah, listening to the beats. I let off hard on both of them. Oh. Left lane, 108, almost to the T there. 10.932, 10.936, so. As soon as th third gear hits, that was we were like neck and neck. I was kind of Yeah, I know, it was, it was pretty close. Yeah, and then I'd like to, Top of third, it was just like, Whoa! I was like, I don't, I was like, Oh, no, no, oh, shit, let off, let off, just be safe. That's what I'm talking about. Winner, winner. All right, this one might be Bryce. It sounds like him. Here he comes. Straight to the stage. Hit it, Bryce, hit it. Go. But Bryce did one one fifteen. Shit! 
got to be the closest race I ever had. Fingers crossed. Well, Bryce didn't make it, but he did good. So let's go see my favorite loser. He's right over here. I don't want to run because I'm fat and out of shape. So you're just going to have to bear with me. We'll look at cars on our way. Look at that stock camera right there. That's what's good. Oh, here's the here's the Corvette. They got lucky. Got lucky. Got some diesels. Got some pickups. Got my boss's truck right there. And Bryce. Man. You almost had it, bro. I don't know if he made it there first if I broke out or what. But uh, it was intense. Like, that was one of the closest races I've ever had. It was like, good. It was very good. Yeah. I'm upset with myself. It it's okay. Time. I've had it. We had fun. That's all that matters. So, you're still my favorite loser, though. <laughs> Here it is. You did good. There's always next time. We've got the flashlight event coming up. Hopefully, Bryce is going to be over here for that. We've got tons of autocross. Pretty good for an autocross car. All right, we're leaving it up to Michael to take home the money for us. Oh, it's Nick, too. Damn, they're both the homies. I didn't even realize. May the best man win. Michael trapped 136 and he was 134. Wow, that's a close race. Freaking Michael holding it down for the underground. This guy. Ye fucking ye. How about that? My man. What words do you have for the people? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the finals of the class I was in. I lost to that there Corvette. Now he's up against a apparently super freaking quick diesel of some sort. Stainless diesel. Shout out to them. This thing's fucking kicking ass. Sorry for the cursing. Huh? No. I lost to that Corvette right there. Yeah. How bad? 0.04. Wow. Well, that, that was our... Wow. Time difference, but I, I broke out. Yeah, I broke out by 0.24 of a mile an hour. <laughs> Holy crap! Sorry for the crap video. Truck took the event for my class. That is crazy. 104 and 111. Wow. Oh, here we are. Last race of the night. To Michael and some SN95, right? Yeah. Mustang of some sort. You said it's turbo. It's turbo charged. Turbo, turbo Mustang. I don't know if it's LS or what. It's probably LS, but. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a, I think it is an S95. Okay. Has well, to be. And this race is for $1,500. My class was 500, and a diesel won it. So I hope Michael wins this. Man, come on. Here he is. This dude's gotta pull it off. Lane nearest me is Michael. $1,500 on the line. I'm nervous for him. All right, here we go. Michael's the lead. He 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 sets the pace. That is a race. Uh, right lane pulled it. Come on. Oh, wow. Damn. And the higher trap. Dang. Oh, man. Well, he got second. Not bad. He still gets 500 bucks. Second place gets 500 bucks for king of, this king of the panhandle class. That's crazy. 138 to 130. Wow. He was back half and then hard. That was a race. That was a freaking race. Yeah. 
try. I try. Hey, yo. <laughs> well, try and keep this short and sweet. This video is already 30 minutes long. If you made it this long, please hit the like button. Y'all are real MVPs. But yesterday was an amazing time. I had, I think, 12 races total and with the event, including some shenanigans afterwards. I won every single race. Uh, that race with the Corvette, the silver one, I actually wound up breaking out. I couldn't go past a 14.9. I ran a 15.2. Two, four. So if I would have literally just let off a hair, I would have won. That would have went up against that diesel. And I went and talked to the guy after he had won the event, and it was like on the lowest setting without methanol or uh, nitrous. He said on the highest setting, it made like 2,100 foot pounds. It's best ran like a 9.7 at altitude. So the dude was there just trying to make some easy money. Um, it's kind of unfair, but what can you do? He was within the class rules or whatever. So. Uh, I made the semifinals better than I did last year, so I mean it's progress. And I'm just doing this shit for fun. It's not really all that competitive. You guys know the cars being built for autocross, but it was a great weekend. Uh, shout out to Michael, helped me out at his shop, and letting me use his stuff, giving me some fuel and tips and and all that. He's one of the greatest guys I've met ever. Uh, it's just and watching him race, I mean he was just a hair away from winning the event. He wound up having a a boost leak right before his second O2 sensor, I guess, and which made it go into a safe mode. Uh, I think he would have had had that race, had that gasket not blown out. Um, maybe we'll get him some, some V-band, well on V-band guys, so he never has to worry about that again. But uh, all around, great event. I'm gonna chop up the race videos here and just put out some singles during the week. So if you guys see them pop up, uh, make sure you click on the video and hit that like button real quick as well. But uh, next weekend, autocross, weekend after that, uh, we're going to Denver, streetcar takeover. Yee. This week, after we do some more testing with the car, um, I'll probably sign up for the event and need to work on some launch control, unless I just enter the roll race event up there. I'm not the biggest fan of roll racing, but uh, going eight hours away in a stage three plus car without a trailer, I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But uh, the car did great. I think it would have trapped, oh, my goal was to trap 120, but the density altitude of the day, it peaked at, what was it, 7,700, and it was well over 100 degrees for the majority of the day. Air intake, air intake temps were through the roof. I've never seen them that high before ever in my life. But uh, still, uh, once again, shout out to Frank, Mabo, Mabo Tech, shout out to Ed Sussman, EQT, for the turbo and the piping. Racing line for the majority of the parts in the car, 034, uh, Diesel Geek for the shifter stuff, um, Brandon for the tires, all types of things, all types of people. Check out the description if you want to buy some parts. Oh, Precision Race Works for their fuel system and not so much their inserts for the manifold. Don't buy. Don't If you buy their kit, don't use their inserts. Just don't do it. Okay, thanks, bye.